The spotlight of history will be on one particular Carroll High School senior on graduation night. He is the school's valedictorian, but that's not the reason he'll leave a mark in the school's history. Devon Taylor has the story. Excuses are tools of the incompetent used to build monuments of nothingness. And one CCISD student is not making excuses or allowing people to make excuses for him. He's getting results. Those results now putting him at the top of his class. When you enter Mary Carroll High School, you'll find 18-year-old Isaiah Gomez writing a story about the past four years of his high school career. He has worked hard to accomplish his goal of being top in his class, but not only is he top in his class. I'm officially valedictorian. With a grade point average of a 4.8, this scholar says for African Americans, anything is possible. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's just um, all in your head. It's just a, a mind block that you have to jump over eventually. And Isaiah's academic achievements have also caught the attention of the Corpus Christi chapter of the NAACP. Thea Kane, the vice president, said in quotes, I am extremely proud of Isaiah Gomez for not only being the valedictorian and first black valedictorian of Carroll High School, but also for being such an amazing leader and role model for our Carroll Tigers, unquote. So, of course, one of the first or the only first black valedictorian out of Carroll High School. What does that mean for you? Um, I feel like it's a huge step for my community, my African American community, because I'm showing like, hey, like this school, this school, it has had a lot of African Americans before, but in my opinion, it doesn't really cater to them. They're not really looked after like the other. As for what's next for this history maker, there's plenty on his plate. Um, my plan is I got accepted and I committed to Harvard University, and I plan to um, concentrate in molecular and cellular biology. And of course, I had one more question. Have you tried on your cap and gown because <laughs> your hat, your hair is, oh, there's a lot of it. <laughs> He's expected to graduate Saturday, June the 3rd at 10 a.m. In Corpus Christi, Devon Taylor, Chris 6 News. Isaiah told our Devon Taylor that he credits his parents for his success in academics. Way to go, Isaiah.